The longest steel arch bridge in Hong Kong, the first marine viaduct containing a carriageway, cycle track and footway, reducing journey time to eastern Kowloon by 20 minutes during peak hours. The Chungkwano Lamtin Tunnel and the Cross Bay Link promote the accessibility and overall development of Chungkwano, creating a whole new outlook for this district. ACOM was appointed to conduct the investigation study of Chungkwano Lamtin Tunnel, and we were also tasked with the design and construction assignment for both the tunnel and the Cross Bay Link as well. For Chungkwano Lamtin Tunnel projects, our recommended approach as guided by our people-based engagement strategies, delivering a sustainable project scheme and achieve the highest value for the project by balancing the total cost and the public values. One of the main concerns of the local residents and other stakeholders was the extent of reclamation that may take place. So we put forth an alternative proposal featuring a strict tunnels without a toll plaza. Despite limited adoption of e-payment usage in early 2000, we pioneered the idea of deploying an electronic toll payment system for the tunnel in our feasibility studies. To put the interests of the nearby residents and the integrity of Charcoal Lang villages first, the main carriageway of the Lamtin interchange was constructed below the adjacent ground level and covered it with a landscape deck and noise cover to further reduce any environmental and visual impacts. All in all, our innovative works on the Chengkwano Lamtin Tunnel projects demonstrate our commitment to delivering sustainable and community-centric infrastructures. We were responsible for the design of the Cross Bay Link. Uh, the centerpiece of this multi-purpose ceiling is the Eternity of Arch. Uh, it appears as a mathematical symbol for infinity, representing the boundless opportunities of the district and the pursuit of everlasting values by its people. Uh, we all remember back in uh, 2018 when Typhoon Banker caused uh, widespread destruction in Hong Kong. So our top priority was to create you know, a typhoon resilient design. Therefore, we conducted a series of internal tests in China, France and Denmark to optimize the design. Uh, these tests led us to achieve a truly climate resilient bridge structure. The bridge can withstand super typhoon with wind speed up to 320 kilometers per hour. And now for the first time in Hong Kong, great S690Q air high strength steel was used as the construction material. It reduces the overall steel quantities from the superstructure down to the pier, the pile cap and the piles. Now, apart from cost savings, this high strength steel enables us to create imaginative shapes and form, and also to accomplish decarbonization at a grand scale. The project stands out for the adoption of the tunnel scheme without a toll parser, which reduces the reclamation work, shortens the tunnel length, and reduces the overall construction cost. The drill and bus tunneling methods used in the project offers greater flexibility in the excavation profile, lowering over excavation and generating less disposal materials. A semi-caven approach has been adopted for the tunnel ventilation building. This innovative approach allows for most of the fans and plant rooms to be placed underground, resulting in a smaller footprint and significantly reducing excavation and soil level requirement at the steep terrain of the TKO portal facilities. The innovative use of grey S690QL high strength steel substantially reduced the project's carbon footprint through a reduction in material input in the steel deck and other structural members, leading to a decrease in member size and material input by 50%. Comparing with the conventional construction method, our approach reduced carbon footprint by 22%. Extensive prefabrication and modular construction were adopted for the marine viaduct. With this approach, quality and safety assurance were achieved, while on-site force words and disturbance to the surroundings were minimized.
progress of the tunnel was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. The site was forced to shut down three times. To ensure timely commissioning, we as the consultant work closely with the client and the contractor to monitor the work's progress, especially in the final six month period. Digital solutions were also applied to speed up project delivery. For example, remote tools were used to supervise the fabrication works in mainland China. Despite the challenges, the TKO LTT team maintained the highest quality standards. This is best demonstrated by the completion of fire services installation acceptance inspection for the road tunnel in only six weeks. This shows our team's unwavering commitment to quality assurance and precise planning when managing complex interface issues between the civil, MEP and TCSS works. We take over 10,000 tons. The main span was erected by the flow-over method. This operation was subject to uncertain conditions such as wind, current and tidal levels. We therefore conducted a rigorous analysis of every erection stage, such as the load transfer mechanism from the barge to the piers, as well as stringent tolerance control in positioning. With this approach, we greatly alleviated the impact to marine traffic and the surroundings compared with other construction methods. Digitalization was adopted to facilitate fabrication and assembly and ensure compatibility of the prefabricated units in design stage. BIM was the core digital system adopted in this project, which greatly enhanced the quality control, program planning and monitoring, enable instant communication and collaboration among teams throughout the project delivery. To conserve water quality around the site, a hybrid reclamation scheme was adopted to construct the underpass row P2 at Chongkwano. Chongkwano Lam Tin Tunnel is the first project in Hong Kong to adopt a temporary steel cover dam and double water gate system for reclamation works. And this meant reclamation works could be carried out within the enclosed area to minimize sediment flow to the open sea. Besides, by adopting the tunnel scheme without the Atollpass solution, reclamation works were greatly reduced, and thereby contributing to the preservation of the natural shoreline, spanning 1.2 kilometers. Furthermore, the semi caven solution for the ventilation building did not only reduce the amount of excavation work and shorten the construction period, but also minimize disturbance to local residents and preserve surrounding greenbelt habitats. Our top priorities for Cross Bay Link were to ensure the well-being of everyone involved and foster community development. Not only did we deliver the first three-in-one marine viaduct in Hong Kong, combining a carriageway, cycle track and footpath, we also completed a five-kilometer cycle track and footpath waterfront loop, which had been eagerly anticipated by both TKO residents and cycling fans. Throughout the project, we established a community liaison team to engage and communicate with stakeholders, including local residents, district council members, academics, and cycling associations. We also organized events specifically for students from local schools, aiming to ignite their imagination, enrich their lives, and empower them to become future leaders of their community. Oh, I'm Jan Suk Suk. 誒係一位校巴司機，咁喺將軍澳咧揸咗校巴三十幾年啦。以前咧就誒由將軍澳出觀塘咧，因為得一條呢個將軍澳隧道，所以都要預早二三十分鐘咧塞車時間嘅。跨灣橋開咗，同埋將南隧道開咗咧，唔使塞車啦。我而家試過啊，快二十分鐘可以出到觀塘啊！我哋搬咗入嚟將軍澳幾年啦，所以呢度生活環境都舒服嘅，交通又越嚟越好啦，都多咗好多地方活動啊，跑步、踩單車同埋放狗咯。咁有時就會上條橋度帶只狗行下，我哋都住得好開心。
We take great pride in completing the Cross Bay Link and the Zhang Guanou Lamtin Tunnel project and transforming Zhang Guanou. The outcome of our collective hard work has surpassed all expectations, and the industry has taken notice of our exceptional achievements, recognizing its innovation, creativity, and positive impact. This is an ongoing journey. AECOM will continue to support the client's vision of providing better living in our community. For example, we deliver innovative planning and design solutions to optimize the utilization of Changkwano Area 137 in synergy with its natural setting. We aim to build an eco community and sustain the ongoing prosperity for the development of Changkwano in years to come.